Amen. Praise to God. Amen. Praise to the Trinitarian God. Jesus Praise is Lord. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit. Amen. Bible tells us in the beginning, man and woman separated themselves from God. Yes, they, they did. They sinned against God. They sinned against one another. Bible tells us we are all sinners. We are all separated from God. We are all separated from God. Yet, it is the same Bible gives us the solution. Solution of the Messiah, who is going to come and make people right with God. Amen. By dying on the cross. Amen. That takes place approximately 2,000 years ago. Lord Jesus Christ, Messiah, eternal word of God, comes and dies on the cross yes. so that man and woman can stand in front of Holy God once again. Yes, amen. So, praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to the Alpha and Omega. Praise to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Amen. Praise to the God who gives us peace with God and with one another. Amen. Today, we want to talk about peace. We want to talk about people who set themselves as an example for mankind. Mm. As we look at those people today, we especially want to look at Muhammad and Muhammad's engagement with people of the world, especially with the Jews. Yes. Last week, we saw in the state people were killed in the synagogue. Yeah. That was last Saturday. Yes. And all over Muslim world stand up and say they stand with Jews against terrorism. <laughs> so we want to look at the Islamic teachings and we want to see Muhammad, who is supposed to be the best example to mankind. Muhammad, who is supposed to be the mercy to the world. Did he ever stand with Jews shoulder by shoulder? Islamic teaching says otherwise what Muslims are doing today. Today, Muslim wants to stand shoulder to shoulder with, Christian, with Jews. Yet, Muhammad in 627 thought it was all right to take the life of approximately 600 to 900 Jew people. We want to look at that today. Yeah, so as we always do every week, we're going to start reading Islamic literature, the Quran, the Hadith, and the Tafsir, the explanation of the Quran, to see if Muhammad, your prophet, Muslims, was a peaceful man to Jews. We're going to read your own sources. We're not going to tell you what we think. We're going to tell you what your sources say. So, so. Before we look at the life of Muhammad, yeah. we want to look at the Quran and then we want to see what does Quran say about Jews? How does Quran identify Jews? Surah 98, can you read that for us? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. Do you know what your Quran says about Jews? Do you like me to stand next to you and talk? Okay, no, okay, okay. You, don't, you don't have an answer. Okay. No, well, yeah, because you're a Muslim, we're asking you. This is what the Quran says about Jews and also Christians. Surah 98 verse 6. Indeed, they who, has, who disbelieved among the people of the scripture, which are Jews and Christians, and the polytheists will be in the fire of hell, abiding eternity therein. Those are the worst of creatures. So the Quran is degrading Jews and Christians below pigs. You mean butterfly? And monkeys and butterfly. butterflies. All creatures, Jews and Christians are the worst of all creatures. That's what your Quran says. What did Muhammad do to the Jews? How did he treat them? We're going to talk about that. Why don't you say about Jesus how, you, how he referred to you? Because he referred as a Jew, as a children, as a non-Jew are dogs. So you are dogs like me and you. We are all dogs. Okay. He's amazing at speaker's corner. Yeah, always. Every week. He start talking about Muhammad. Muslims start having funny feelings. It looks like their feelings are being heard. Answer about the Quran. Want to talk about Lord 
Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. I can yeah. see Muhammad did not do anything for you. Muhammad did not do anything for Nothing. Anyone. Nothing. So you already gave him up. You want to know about Jesus. I will come to that. But first, we've got to look at what Muhammad did. Exactly. Why you Quran identifies? Why you Quran identifies Jesus as the first of creatures? Yeah. We also see Quran calls Jesus certain type of the animals, but in somehow we think things they can stand so shoulder by shoulder with Jesus, while Islam does not give them that right. Mm. Today we specifically want to look at. They want to see how Muhammad treated these two people. Okay, yes. Can you know how Muhammad engaged with Jews? Do you know how Muhammad, your prophet, how did he engage with Jews? How did he speak to them? How did he treat Jews? How did he do it? Do you know how he did it? Oh, you don't know? Okay, you don't know. We're just asking a question if you know. Don't talk to them. Are women not allowed to talk? Not allowed to talk? Yeah, go on. Talking with uh, the Kitab. Ahl Kitab. Ahl Kitab, yes. Have got from uh, God. Jewish or uh, Christian. Okay. Oh, they are Kitab. So, yeah. well, no, no, so our question is yeah. how did Muhammad treat Daniel, them? Daniel, Daniel, give her a chance. She's okay, a okay. Let me answer, answer him. No, no, no. 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 The second uh, respect her. Respect her. Can you respect her? The second chapter. The second chapter of the Quran. The 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 yeah. Yeah. The woman speak. She has a number 39. Okay. Number 122. God speaking directly to the Jews. And you. Okay. And the third chapter. The God is the same. The God is the same. Allah. The God is same. Okay. So is that in the Quran? Okay. So we're gonna see how your prophet Muhammad. How did he treat Jews? How did he treat them? Did he kill them? Did he kill Jews? We ordered the Quran ordered us to speak to all Ahl Kitab nicely and to. But Muhammad didn't do that. No, Muhammad killed Jews. We're going to see it from your own sources. Sahih al Bukhari. It's rubbish. Are you a Shia? Are you a Shia? So, so what is the Sunnah of Muhammad? What? Okay, madam, madam, madam. What does the Quran say? It says, "Obey Allah and the Messenger." How do you obey the Messenger? Okay, the Quran says that. Mm. I understand. I heard you. Yeah. Let, let, me, let me respond to you, ma'am. Okay, can we? Let me respond to that. So, okay, let's respond. Let's respond to you. Let's respond to you. Let's respond to you. We have Muslim ladies here who are telling us. Oh, you don't like Jews? She doesn't like Jews. <laughs> Okay, but we're not talking about that. Okay, just listen, go on. Wait, wait, listen, listen, madam. Wait, listen. Listen, listen first, listen. This is what your Quran says. Your Quran says Christians and Jews are the worst. Why Allah teaches against Jews, calling them names, when we look at the life of Muhammad, we see there was a time and place where Muhammad engaging with Jews nicely. Yeah. They were sharing the same prayer direction. Wait, madam, they wait, wait, wait. Sharing the same fasting. Are you, don't go, don't go. But something went wrong. So while they were in a peace in short mm, time, I wonder what that was. Something went wrong. What was and that? Suddenly what went they wrong? They were not friends anymore. Ah. So let's look at this Islamic tradition and then let's see. Let's see how Muhammad engaged with them. Um, okay. But you are when you perform. Why does every Muslim say we're getting paid? You're funny, man. My Jewish people, yeah.
We're not talking about. Okay. Have you read the Quran? Have you read the Quran? I know. But I, I, what does Surah 96 say? I was going to ask it. So, ma'am, let me just explain. Surah 98, verse 6. Don't just sit That's just not nice. So, so, here's the thing. While Muhammad was wait, madam, wait, wait. in the chair, something went wrong. Let's read it what went wrong. Let's see what your scripture says. Yes. 1765. Mm. Listen carefully as brother reads. Muhammad is styling. Muhammad is styling the Jews. Become a Muslim so that you will be safe. Become a Muslim so you will be safe. This is your scripture, yeah? Okay. Shall we read Let's it? Yeah? Read it. Shall we read Muslim, it? 1765. Yeah, I've got it, yeah. Narrated Abu Abi Huraya. While we were at the mosque, the messenger of Allah came to us and said, Go to the Jews. So we went out with him until we arrived. So the messenger of Allah stood up and called on them, All you Jewish people, become Muslims so you will be safe. This is Sahih Muslim, 1765. Rubbish, rubbish, okay. Rubbish, rubbish. They replied you have delivered your message or oh, about halaski so he said to them whatever that name is that it is what i want become muslims and you'll be safe they replied um you have delivered your message so they re have delivered your message oh muhammad so they re so he repeated what he said for the third time and said no that is the land is for allah and his messenger I want to exile you from this land so that so let him who finds something valuable in his possession sell it or know that the land is for Allah and his messenger nothing to do with uh, the, the Jewish religion in, in a sense but it's about them converting to Islam for their own safety this is what your scripture says so Muhammad is telling, sending message to the Jewish people, you convert the Islam so that you will be safe. Otherwise, I will kick you out from this land. Otherwise, I Does that sound peaceful? That doesn't look very peaceful. But no, it doesn't. But according to Muhammad, it is peaceful because Jews will be leaving. And we read the same st similar thing in Musnad Ahmad, Ahmed, 23, 464. All Jews shall be commandments among the Jews who believe that there is no God and but Allah and that Muhammad is his messenger and Allah will spare all the Jews under the heaven his wrath the wrath he has. Muslims. Muslims. Why is that the case, Yaya? No answer from Muslims. We're asking about your faith and you have no answer. While we saw Muhammad did not engage with Jews nicely, let's not focus on what was happening with the Banu Kureza. Yeah. Why did Muhammad order of killing 600 to 900? Man. Yes. So let's go to the biography of Muhammad, page 461, and read it from there, brother. Can you read it? Okay. When the apostle approached their forts, he said, You brothers of monkeys. Muhammad starts by degrading the Jews by already saying, You brother of monkeys. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? No answer. Okay. 
has God disgraced you and brought his vengeance upon you? Banu Karaza replied, O oh, Abdul Abul Qasim, you are not a barbarous person. Then they surrendered and the apostle confined them. Well, yeah. After Muhammad called them monkeys, yes, and then they surrendered. Okay, they are not defending themselves. They surrendered. Continue, brother. Yes, I just wanted to emphasize that. No problem. It's okay. They surrendered, and the apostle confined them in Medina, in the quarter of D Al Harith, a woman of B Najar. Then the apostle went out the market of Medina, and dug trenches in it. Then he sent for them and struck off their heads in those trenches as they were brought out to him in batches. What did Muhammad do? That sounds very grim. Did Muhammad stand so shoulder by shoulder? Shoulder, shoulder by shoulder. With Jews? No. Did Muhammad offer them peace after they surrendered? No. no. What Muhammad did is he did the place and then he got rid of their head. He chopped off the strap so much, of their head. So much for being a mercy to mankind. This doesn't sound merciful at all. Continue. Sounds evil. All right, I'll continue. Uh, among them was the enemy of Allah, Assad, their chief. There were 600 or 700. Are you listening? Yeah. In all, though some put their figure as high as 800 to 900. So it's not a joke. Muhammad this is your prophet killing Jewish people. Tribe, and then he killed up to 900 men. It's not only he killed, he struck their head off. Mm. Men who are supposed to be the mercy to mankind. Men who are supposed to be the spokesperson of merciful God. Thinks it's all right to chop the head of people because they denied Muhammad's prophethood is not acceptable. That's not very loving um, religion, that, no. is it? It's not peaceful, it's not loving, it's not merciful. Far continue from it. What happened? All right, I'll it continue. Stop that. After their heads been chopped off, Muhammad continued. Okay. As they were being taken out in batches to the apostle, they asked Kab what he thought would be done with them. He replied, will you never understand? Don't you see that the Sumner never stops and those who are taken away do not return? By Allah, it is death. This went on until the apostle made them an end of them. Huayi was brought out wearing a flowered robe in which he had made holes about the size of the fingertips and every part so that it should not be taken from him as a spoil with his hands bound to his neck by the rope. Last part, when he saw the apostle, he said, by God, I do not blame myself for opposing you, but he who forsakes God will be forsaken. Then he went to the men and said, God's command is right. A book and a decree and massacre have been written against the sons of Israel. Are you listening, Yaya? Then he sat down and his head was struck off. You're a Muslim. This is your own prophet. 627. Muhammad, while he was in Medina, last Jewish tribe, tribe on Croatia. Yeah. What Muhammad does, he takes the head of eight, um, 600 to 900 men and then he kills them. Why, Yahya, yeah, why? How can you call Muhammad a mercy to mankind? Why did Muhammad do this, Yahya? Yeah? So are you Muslim? Why does Muhammad kill the Jews? Oh, you are Muslim, but you don't want to answer. You are here to listen. Thank you for giving us opportunity to expose your prophet. It's always a privilege. Your false prophet, sorry. False prophet. Let's Next. So, do you condemn Muhammad? Did Muhammad, did Muhammad show respect? Did Muhammad respect the Jews? No. Exactly. He killed the Jews, and it's not only he 
he killed the Jews, it was one of his mission that he was going to exile all Jews and Christians in Arabia. And leave but not Muslims, only Muslims. All right, shall we continue? This is on the day of the attack, yeah? Yeah, we read it. So, <laughs> I read it. <laughs> so here what we have. We have a man called Muhammad yeah. who has been followed by 1.84 billion Muslims. We look at life of Muhammad and what we see is in one day, while Jews did not harm him, while they were surrendered, Muhammad thought it was all right to cut the head of 900 people. We are asking the simple question, why? Why a man who is supposed to be an example to mankind thinks it's all right to genocide a lost Jewish tribe which stayed in Medina? Yeah. Why? Because they did not believe in him. Let's read it. So we're going to read, uh, should we read this one, yeah, B, Sahih Muslim? No, so let's again give you the, give, give us the, give you the reason. Yep. Let's go to the Sahih Muslim. Sorry, um, Abu Dawood 3003. Read it, read it, read it. Should I read it, yeah? Okay. Narrated Abu Hurai, again, it's Abu Hurai. While we were at the mosque, the messenger of Allah came to us and said, go to the Jews. So we went out with him and we arrived. So the messenger of Allah stood up and called on them. All Jewish people become Muslims and you will be safe. Yes. You need to become Muslim. You need to believe in Do you agree with that? I love your you need to believe in Muhammad. You know, That's your duty. Say. If you do not this believe in Muhammad. This is what you're. Allah, yeah, go on. If you do not believe in Muhammad. If you do not become a Muslim, you won't be safe. It continues. And Muhammad practiced that by getting when Muhammad, the Jews tribe. Yeah, so when he said that, they replied, You have delivered all. Abu al Qasim, whatever his name is. So he said to them that Qasim, that is what I want. Become Muslims again and you will be safe. Muhammad is actually saying to the Jews, if you don't convert to Islam, you will not be safe. Become Muslims and you'll be safe. Do you condone it or do you condemn it? Do you condemn that Muhammad said to the Jews, become Muslims? So you be safe. It's not like that. It's I just read it. Like I just read it. Just read it. Sunan Abu Dawood says it. As I said, Quran from chapter two, from verse number thirty-nine to number to number hundred and twenty twenty-three. God, God, not Muhammad. God is speaking directly to the Jew. And third chapter, Surah Al Maidah, God talking to you, Christian. And Quran are calling you to worship one God, which you make three and one. Okay, so yeah, 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 yeah. So how do you answer this, Sunan Abu Dawood? How do you answer this? You don't have an answer. Sunan Abu Dawood. How do you answer it? Sunan Abu Dawood. Sunan Abu Dawood. And Sahih Muslim. I have nothing to do with Sunan Abu Dawood or Am Dawood. So you put your Sahih Muslims and Sahih Bukhari's under the bus. What did Muhammad do to Banu Qurayza? Banu Qurayza, the tribe Banu Qurayza, the Jew tribe, what did he do to them? Banu Qurayza. What did he do? Banu Qurayza, I'm, I'm answering you. Yeah. Simply, they betrayed the Prophet, Show us. they betrayed the Muslim. Show us. By, Show us the betrayal. By, by, that's a lie. Show us the betrayal. Can I finish? Yeah, you can, but show us at the end. The Prophet yeah. have a treaty with them okay. that they will protect the Medina. And okay. they betray the Prophet okay. and they allow from the back side to attack the Muslim and, and finish oh, them off. Oh so yeah, yeah, do you have a proof of that? Do you have proof? Do you have proof? Why, why you are so concerned about the Jew who try many times to call Jesus?
Sir, no, 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 Many wait, 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 wait. Sir, you're deflecting sir, now. Sir, you're deflecting sir, deflecting sir, diversion sir, again. Sir, Show us sir, the proof. Sir, okay, yeah, yeah, simple. Sir, Show us the proof. The, sir, the main cause why Jesus, according to you, was crucified. Okay. Because they, you're moving they away from the main topic. For Muslims are telling us. Yes. Father Croatia betrayed Muhammad and Exactly. Muslims. Where is the proof? That is a lie and lie and lie. Where is the treaty that Why Banu Kuraiza? Exactly. Islamic tradition tells us proof. they refuse Where's the to proof? have the Balkans. She's waiting for your proof. Why have you been misrepresenting Islam exactly. and the actions of Muhammad for 1300? These people betrayed so Muhammad as well. The Muslims have been lying to us that there was a tre treaty. 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 Which? Treaty which was um, Banu Quraysh broke it. Yeah. Where is it in Islamic tradition? Where is that treaty? Banu Quraysh verbalized that we break it. We're asking Where the same question. It? Yeah, yeah. If they break the treaty. I was. Why Muhammad was waiting for Angel Gabriel to turn to Muhammad while he was having bath? Where is the proof? To go and attack the Jews. So you've exactly. been lying. You've been lying. Stop telling us they've been traded because according to Islamic tradition, they refuse to have Meccans. Let's read it, brother. Okay, which one you want me to read? Give them a copy. Musnad Ahmad, 22, 823. They refuse to have the Meccans. Okay, we're giving you sources. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Listen, yeah? yeah. Sorry. When we talk, we give you sources. When you talk, there's no source. Musnad Ahmed. Musnad Ahmed. Musnad Ahmed, yeah? Just read the underlined part. 22. Who, who is Ahmed? Which Ahmed is he? Just read the underlined Listen, part. Listen, okay. Banu Khoraiza has. Wait, calm down. Who, who are they? Those, Those are your Sahih uh, Muslims. So, Sahih uh, Hadiths. I, I don't know Sahih Muslims. Sahih Hadiths. Authentic Hadith. All right. I know Bukhari. He come 195. Banu Khoraiza. Three minutes. Wait, wait, wait. Focus, focus, focus. Banu Exactly. Where is the treaty? That's our question. I am simply asking you, I, sir, I am simply going to give you source which discredits what you are saying. Help him out, you help him, Abbas help him out, help him out, show us the proof. Can you check out Gaza? Can you check out Gaza? Why, why, the, huh? why the Jewish kill see Jesus? Why That's got nothing to do with what we're saying. Why they kill them? You're diverting. What, what's our question? What's our question? Okay. He, Musnad Ahmed, 22-823. Banu Kareza has turned us down. We receive from them what we don't like, meaning they refuse to let them in through their fortresses. And this wind is giving us what we see. Wait, wait, wait. By Allah, our cordiers are in standing. The fires are loose lasting and the structures aren't holding. So the retreat, for I am retreating. I'm finishing this. They need to know. Hey, this guy. Okay, wait, yeah, yeah, we're coming. Okay, wait. Apparently, he has something. Abbas. Allah. Allah is a false god. So, he is the king. A false god.
No, I'm still looking good with it. In one afternoon. As we look at the story of Father Teresa, what Muhammad did, how Muhammad preached Jesus, we see once again as another proof that Muhammad is a false prophet, Islam is false religion, and Quran is false prophet. Jesus, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Allah. Jesus loves you. Allah. Jesus loves you. Allah. Jesus loves you. Jesus is God. He loves you. Come to know Jesus. Allah. Jesus loves you. Repent and come to know Christ, sir. Come to know Christ. So, as we look at the teachings of Quran, yeah. the, regarding the uh, interaction with Jews, we see Allah and His Word takes away the dignity and value of Jews. We see in the interaction of Muhammad and Jews, while he genocide the Jewish tribe by the praise of which they did not deserve. We see Muhammad cannot be the mercy to mankind Never. because they were already surrounded and they did not break any treaty they had. Yet Muhammad used the revelation and used the claim to have the revelation to justify his actions. We don't read those kind of teachings. Those kind of teachings are harmful to mankind. Those kind of teachings are harmful to the true living God. You must give up Muhammad. You must give up his teachings and you need to come to Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, by the way, the direction for prayer was to Jerusalem. And then Muhammad, wait, Muhammad was scared that they don't they won't believe in him so he changed the direction to mecca why because the jews did not believe in him so because allah wanted to please muhammad allah wanted to please muhammad also so this this revelation is man-made you to follow a man and worship a man is is uh going taking you to hell your eternity depends on this muslims the only way you can get eternal life there's only one way and that is through Jesus Christ who died on the cross for you and I to be redeemed back to God. 2,000 years ago, the Bible says, for God so loved the world, never hated it, loved the world that he gave his son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. If you don't believe, you'll be condemned. Come and believe in Christ Jesus and you shall be saved. God bless you. Amen. Amen.